Good evening. Since I shared my level up bag with you guys last time, and you guys asked to see my next one, here it is. Except the bag is flat because I took everything out of it. Because I'm impatient. Thank you, Lucre, for sponsoring me these items. One of which this character is on. And the other side of these socks are R2-D2, more Star Wars socks, a new little BB-8 bag, cutest Darth Vader keychain you will ever see in your life, and Star Wars pajama pants. All the products that you say will listed somewhere around the video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to contact me. I'm starting off by covering up my eyebrows just so the paint lays more smoothly. I'm then starting out to sketch out all of the highlights and all of the general structure of C-3PO. Now this tutorial is a little different from most of my tutorials because when you're going to be sketching out metal, you're going to want to sketch out the highlights, the mid-tones, and as well as the shadows. Just trust me, it will be the easiest way. I'm sketching out his eyeballs, his brow bone, his nose, as well as his mouth and all of the highlights first. I'm also sketching out just an outline on my chest of the structures of his chest. Now, although he is gold, I'm not going to be using gold body paint because then you can't really get highlights, mid-tones, or really any sort of reflection other than what it would naturally be. So we're using brown. I'm then going in with a light brown and drawing in all of somewhat of reflective shadows. While using a photo reference, I'm trying to find all of the areas that just start to cast a shadow on his metallic skin. Would that still be called skin? I'm assuming it would kind of be called skin. His reflective body. I'm then going in with dark brown body paint and just outlining all of the darkest points on his body. This includes certain areas of his face as well as anywhere where light would not be shining, such as like in cracks on his chest. Understanding what basically is highlighting and contouring can take some time to understand. So if this looks confusing at first, all you have to do is practice. I'm also adding in some mid-tones that I feel like I may have missed. Fill in everything else using more of a mustard yellow. You can also go over the browns a little bit with this yellow body paint just to mix it in a little bit more to make it look more golden. Now when it comes to the body, I did stop at certain areas just so it wouldn't get muddy for you guys and it wouldn't look complicated. If you can keep track of what you're doing, you could totally fill in the rest of yourself yellow, but for the sake of a tutorial, I stopped around his neck and went back in with brown eyeshadow to create those ridges around his neck. To add some dimension, I went ahead and shaded with that same brown underneath that section as well as around those bars that are on his neck. Paint, 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 paint. And then going ahead and filling in the yellow on those bars themselves. Once again, going back to the brown eyeshadow, I'm shading around those bars to make them look a little more three dimensional and adding some shading within each section. Moving on to where it connects in his chest, I'm filling in one section using that same yellow but also shading with brown. I'm pretty much doing the same thing to the other side but shading a little bit less. And you want to shade where it comes to its deepest point which is going to be at the center. And then filling in one of the top sections using that same yellow and leaving the other one blank for right now. While I still have that yellow out, I'm going ahead and filling in the ridges on his shoulders and then also filling in the ridges on his shoulders using brown body paint. On to the highlights. Mixing together white and yellow body paint, I'm then filling in all the highlights, including the other section in the center of the chest. I'm then highlighting the brackets on his neck, a little bit on his neck itself, around my shoulders, and also going back on those white areas on my face and making them that light yellow. To fill in his mouth, I'm using black body paint. And since we're at the point where it's little tiny things, I'm also adding some highlights where I see necessary. To give a more golden effect, I also decided to go in with orange and just shade in some areas. 
to give the illusion that his neck is thinner, I'm going into a little collar type thing. I'm then adding black body paint around that entire section. This is the mother of contour because you don't even pay attention to it after this point. Finally, fill in his eyes using yellow body paint and you could set this with a translucent powder that way it does not crease. Using orange eyeshadow, I'm then going in and drawing all the lines on his eyes and also taking brown eyeshadow and shading the tops of the eyes to make them look more sunken in. Using white body paints, I'm also adding the highlights to his eyes, which are still just lines. And the little shiny highlights. And filling in his pupils with black. 